Check, check. Can you hear me? Hello, 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 hello. Microphone test, microphone test, testing, testing.
Thank you. All right. I'm good. I'm how, how loud am I? Shit. Can you get Gino? Please? Hey, Adam. What's her name? Huh? Ricky? Is she your wife? She said first, but I just didn't know her name. Right. How long for a live? Can I leave my glasses on? Oh, we're live. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Nine for Nine Media in conjunction with USA Powerlifting proudly brings to you the 2019 USA Powerlifting Bench Press National Championships presented by Leo Strength here in South, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Right now, we're fixing to go over a little bit of what we're fixing to have at see this first session. Waiting in our my sidekick, the in oh, how do you describe him? The phenomenal, the amazing, the one of a kind, Gino, the announcer. He's coming over to help us out. We're going to go over some of the lifters you're going to see here this morning. It's going to be a fantastic day of the equipped bench press day or the open bench press day is what's listed on Lifting Cast, and you can watch everything online at liftingcast.com. Uh, we've got some fantastic lifters up here. Let's go over just a few of them before Gino gets here. I know we're going to be lifting. I just see one of them going by right there. The meat director, Le Jonah Leo. He may or may not be going for it today. It depends on how much work. He's put a tremendous amount of work in here put, to put on the spectacular world-class event here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And I hope, Gino, I hope Jonah gets the opportunity to lift. May or may not. depends on his effort. I'm a meat director as well, and sometimes those are challenging. But now joining us is Gino. Gino, here's your headset, my man. Oops. Well, I've got our introduction in. If you, if folks, if you've never at home, now some of you may or may not know who this man is. If you've been to a live event, this is the man. He's the one that does all the stuff in front of the. If you've seen a uh, a promoter of an event. This guy is the ultimate promoter. Gino is absolutely phenomenal. He gets the crowd worked up in a live event, and I think he'd be phenomenal on live stream as well. Clint, you are too, too kind. Thank you, sir. Uh, pleasure to be with you, sir. Pleasure to be with uh, you, Gino. Uh, for, uh, uh, listen, live stream extraordinaire. By the way, I don't know if you folks know this, but Clint was on America's Got Talent. You get a chance, chance go check it out uh, on YouTube. <laughs> Put on quite a show. He, he is quite <laughs> – I'm I'm a little nervous here because I'm with quite quite a showman. Oh, I don't know. I think you're you're a step up for me, Gino. No, 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 no. Okay, well, let's go over what we're going to be seeing today on the platform. We've got approximately 12 minutes. For hey, while we got it, real quick, come on in here, big guy. I don't know if you can see him on camera. I can't really see what the camera looks like. We're seeing this is Jonah Leo. I'll scoot around. The meat director, Jonah. Here, let's take my headset if it's okay. I'm Say a few words. Yeah, go ahead. Say a few words about the competition. Here. You put me on the spot, will you? Yeah, he I sure did. Gino can lead me in with some questions here. What well, do you want to know? Well, listen, Jonah, here's what I want to know is uh, um, uh, who, uh, what was your bench? Uh, you, were, you are the current reigning equipped super heavyweight 120 plus bench press world champion earlier this year in May in uh, Tokyo, Japan. Is that correct? Correct. Uh, and what was your final, uh, final number? I hit 848 there. And you did need, by the way, not that there was any pressure on you. Had you missed your final bench, you were walking away with the silver. Correct. So you needed that bench in order to take the gold medal. Yep. And who did you beat? Who was in second place? Uh, Agi, the, the uh, Mongolian. Oh, the Mongolian lifter. Yes, That's sir. right. That was impressive, pal. That was under a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. And didn't you miss your second one? Uh, yes, I did, actually. What, was, hit, what hit was the call? What was the call? Same weight. N no, was it no elbow lockout? For your second one? You don't even remember, I've do you? I've been fried. Uh, I've hit enough of those. That, I, I don't know. I've, I've, Take a minute and let you talk about what Sioux Falls and what you brought here, this world-class event at Sioux Falls, South Dakota. What is brought to the town? Tell you what. Look, look, look what you've done. It's, it's been a phenomenal thing. It's been a phenomenal <laughs> setup. Uh, we've had some great lifters, great athletes come in, great officials. Uh, super happy. I mean, we had sponsors step up to the plate right from the get-go. And, uh, is Sanford Health happy that you do this every Sanford year? Sanford Health loves this. It's drug supporting drug-free powerlifting. 
uh, in the biggest association. And uh, beyond that, you know, the Titan support systems, tell you what, I can't say enough about what Pete has done. The awards that people are, are sporting around, they're heavy, they're thick. The Buffaloes uh, rival anything I've won at Worlds. Actually beat everything I've won at Worlds. I hate to tell the directors that. But anyway, the uh, Titan has helped with those. Clint, so. Clint as you know, I, I do this all over the world. <clears throat> he has gone a step above in all aspects of the meet, from start to finish, uh, A to Z, soup to nuts, uh, he, Alpha Omega. He has done it all, and uh, I hope he gets the recognition he deserves uh, from both the USA Powerlifting as well as the, the town of Sioux Falls, uh, the mayor, and everybody else ought to be real proud of what you've done for your community here, sir. Thank you. Thank you much. Thanks for having me. Great job. Now, Jonah, we're not going to let him hear this a lot. I'm going to let you step off real quick, but I need you to give me a nod. Back away from the camera. We're going to do a teaser. Are you or are you not going to step on the platform, baby? Don't tell me. All right. Jonah yeah. said we very well may see him on the platform today. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, all right. See him on the platform today for the meet. <laughs> was, uh, was that on tape? I hope not, but I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, pay the tips, right. Uh, all right, that was one for the record books. Yeah, that could end up on YouTube all over. <laughs> but let's go on to the meet. Let's talk yeah. about what we got to see up today. The first session is the women and the lighter men. What are we going to see in some of those lifters today? Do you know? Well, I've got one question right off the bat for you, if you happen to know. Is Jen Thompson going to uh, lift in the equipped category today with or without a bench shirt? Do you know? I think that's always a general surprise. Looks like her opener is 125. I would say that is raw. I, I would agree with you. That's what she opened at yesterday. Yeah. And uh, traditionally, in the last several years, she's gone more of a uh, raw in, a, in the equipped as well. Yeah. The equipped I, as well. I remember a few years back in, in Denmark, I... I uh, I got to the pleasure. I had the pleasure to announce her, where she she won the gold medal at the Bench World Championships in Denmark, and she took all three benches raw. Oh and, my! And she beat everybody wearing a shirt as a raw lifter in the equipped category. Well, quite, that that leads impressive. into my first question for you. The first people I really want to discuss, you kind of uh, amazingly led right into it, yeah. is what you'll get to see on the platform today is the Thompson family. Yes. Possibly they have taken over the title as the world's strongest family. Uh, uh, yes, yesterday, pal, all four fam family members, Jennifer Thompson, Donovan Thompson, Brody Thompson, and Tucker Thompson, all meddled yesterday. Now, I got a question. Yeah. Donovan is stepping up at his own. Mm -hmm. He's a great lifter in his own right. He is. You know, with having his boys here, his wife here, he no longer has to be Jen Thompson's husband. <laughs> you do know I gave him that name many, many years ago, and he has taken off with that. He actually, if you look at his laminate, I saw uh, it, it will say on his laminate, Jennifer Thompson's husband. Yeah. It doesn't even say Donovan Thompson. Donovan Thompson says Jennifer Thompson's husband. So he, he gets a kick out of that. Yep. He likes to play that up. You know, I have been, to, I have worked out with them at, their, at Thompson's gym, which, as you well know, is in the garage of their house. Uh, they put me up in their basement in a beautiful spare room. You get up in the morning, you wipe the sleep out of your eyes, and you roll 20 feet into the garage, and you work out with Jen Thompson. Nice. Quite a pleasure. Nice. I would I would like to go down there and work out with him once sometime. Once, I do would, a big bench workout with yeah, him. Yeah. And, and you would, would be a big bench, pal. All right, Gay, let me ask you. Uh, are you expecting big things from uh, – from Maura Shuttleworth today. Maura Shuttleworth, I think, is one of our lifters going to see do quite well today and several others. She's got a major battle on her hands with a girl right below her, Chelsea Hustad, I believe that's oh, her name. Oh, that's right. So those two are going to be going back and forth, back and forth for that open spot. Maura's pumped up. I've talked to her. She is excited for this battle. She's got her coach going to try to work the numbers for her. And Fabulous. They have a really strong chance to come out and do exceptionally well. Wish I could tell you how they place, but there's no way to know that until the bottom. The bar hits the platform. And that's what this is all about, and that's why we love this sport. You never know what's going to happen. Right. we got Tammy Lauer, former world champion from South Africa. Mm -hmm. She's coming out. Uh, and we've also got, uh, what's her name, M Michaela Exner, who, by the way, just came from, uh, from Regina, Canada, from mm -hmm. uh, Junior Worlds, where she got the silver medal at the world championship. Nice. And she drove by however many hours that is from there to here. I was sitting in the lobby yesterday. Yeah. And it's Brady Stewart. I don't know if you know he's an IPF bench press world champion, the 120 class. And Brady Stewart won the, uh, the best overall lifter by formula at the Arnold's oh, this year. But they were discussing yeah. how Brady's going to have some major competition on his hand today. Quentin Myers said he'll put whatever Whoa. it takes on the bar 
to take down Brady Stewart. Do you know I? Do you know Quentin and his lovely wife Sarah Jean? I married them a couple of years ago. Really, you can marry people. Jean. Well, well, I, at the time I could not, but uh, I said, you know, they said, do you want to marry us? And I said, well, I'm not a minister or a priest. They said you take an online course and you become an ordained. Yes, minister. you can pay that. Yes. And yes. and I took the course and I flew up to Wisconsin and married them. It was a great ceremony. Oh, we got Gary, yeah, Gary Gron the here. The guy from, oh, you heard him all day yesterday on the uh, live stream. Yeah, Gary G. Gron works out at Jackal's Gym. Plus, he owns his own gym called Gary's Gym right there in Minnesota. Wow. I've also worked out at his gym. He's put me up at his house. I've worked out at his gym. And let me tell you something. He has got quite the gym. Gary, if you ever get a chance to get up to Minnesota, please get a workout in at Gary's mm-hmm. Gym. Okay. Well, now, we're looking at, I believe, Will Garcia is going to be excellent in the one, uh, the 59-kilo open this today. Uh, we, we're looking we're looking for a potential American record, uh, looking to break his own American mm-hmm. record from Will Garcia. You know, Will Garcia, by the way, has an ER rack in his living room. <laughs> now, now, now You're he, joking. He knows, That's knows, awesome. Knows, so he's taking it one step further, okay? He's not in the garage like Jen Thompson. It's actually in his living room. He rolls downstairs. He comes. It has a banana and, and, and some cornflakes, and he rolls right into the living room wow. and starts working out. And he recently held a, san- a, a sanctioned meet, by the way. He's USA. In his living room? In his living room, a sanctioned <laughs> meet where he set a record. So uh, he, he says, if I can do it in my living room, I can do it here in Sioux Falls on the platform, and we're expecting big things from him, too. Now, I see another one. I see Dan Gaudreau is back this year. It looks like he's going to hand uh, Joe Dobbert going to have a little bit of a battle there. Oh, yes. Yeah. 16-time world champion, uh, uh, Dan Gaudreau. And uh, Dan's a heck of a venture, man. And we're expecting big things. By the way, his wife, J. Ray Jim, Gaudreau. First time on the platform in three years, she real, said. Wow, you know your numbers. In three years, you know, she had some some surgeries on, on, her, on her knees and uh, – she said it wasn't very conducive to squatting or pulling, but uh, well, I'm a I'm a bench press only guy now, right? And I still on her. I mean, sometimes I wonder why would you put a bar on your shoulders and uh, hurt uh, your rotator cuffs? I mean, really? There you go, man. Spoken like a true bencher, my <laughs> man Clint Poor from Kentucky. A hell of a bencher. <laughs> well, here's something else we've got. If we move on, we've got just a few minutes left. Three more minutes left. I really want to get this last 120 plus. There's three guys. Who do we got? What we got? Let's start with a. Uh, Ryan Carrillo is really looking to come up and sneak up and play the dark horse and possibly take down, if he showed up, I don't know if he weighed in or not, did Blaine Sumner show up today? Do you know that is the big surprise? If he has, he's keeping a low profile. And a guy that big, I don't know where he's hiding. I don't either. I, I, I did have breakfast this morning with Ryan Carrillo. He said he's all set and ready to rock this afternoon. He's coaching somebody this morning. He's going to be lifting in well, the afternoon. But, it, but if, if Blaine's around, Blaine is sure keeping now, that a secret. Now, here's the question. If Blaine is here, it's going to be – Blaine will have an opportunity to probably set the all-time – if he's here, we don't know yet, when weigh-ins are done, he will probably go for the all-time, all federations, all organizations, world record in the bench press of 1,075. Whoa. He may take a big 500-kilo bench press. That will be – world history it could happen today folks this is the kind of meat we're looking at the intensity it's a perfect setting we've got the spotters and loaders are the perfect people to do this from midland, midland university, university a world champion piloting team yep. and now in now let's talk about if blaine's not here if blaine's not here Ryan Carrillo is going to be in a really good spot to do good or joshua hunt right but here's the trick would jonah leo just say hey i'm only going to do a token because i'm the meat director and give it to ryan if well, Blaine's well, here, I think he takes a token. If, well, if if Blaine's not here, I don't know. I'm thinking Jonah I, can't, I, can't resist it. You know, I was just going to say to you, you know, Jonah as a meat director is doing the right thing. Take the token bench, okay, and, and keep your You don't head. think he'll have a bench shirt in his bag? Hold on. Keep your head in the game. But let me tell you something. If he knows he can take him on, this, the true competitor that he is, that's exactly he what may I think. pull that shirt out of the bag, and he's going to go at that thing. You know, that's a true competitor. That's a power lifter. Yeah, I agree, and Jonah is absolutely phenomenal. We get a picture shot here for nine for nine. I want to say a big thank you for nine for nine putting on a phenomenal uh, live stream for this weekend. First time for these guys, they did a bang up job. Yeah. Let me tell you, they have done a fabulous job on it. And we're about one. Let's see how much time we got left for the uh, meet starts now. Uh, we got four minutes and thirty eight seconds. Four minutes and thirty seven seconds. We can talk a few more minutes. Well, I I better go out there and announce the referees, pal. If that's okay. Oh well, you know what, Gino. Thank you. Take care. Thank you very much. Thank Always you a the, pleasure. Thank you for the invite here. Pleasure talking oh, to a man, it's a first-class guy like me. Oh, it's an honor to work with Gino anytime. You're welcome, Gino. 
With that said, we saw talked about several of the lifters we're going to be seeing today, and we're going to, it's going to be a world. The, the facilities are world class here at Sioux Falls. The meet is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we can go over a few more of the lifters you're also going to see. Uh, I'm looking at the screen right now. You'll see Jill Arno, world team coach. Uh, she's done quite well with world teams. Steve Petrenzik will be here today in the 59. He's went down. Well, he's in the 66 kilo today. He's going to be 66 kilo men's class. He's going to be do, going. Uh, he's a USA powerlifting world team coach. I'm sure he may be trying an American record is there as well. We have an interesting competition between Randy Earl, who has dieted down to the 120 from the super heavyweights. That means it's under 264 pounds. He's going to be going head to head with Minnesota Nice Roger Gert. If you've ever met Roger, he's a fantastic gentleman. And these guys are going to battle it out head-to-head -head today in the bench press. Uh, today is the second day of bench press nationals. The first day is the raw day. second day is the equip day. You'll see me wearing bench press shirts. These shirts will help them and give them aid off the bottom of the lift and help them drive through and lock it out. It is part of the natural progression of powerlifting has been. And I hear them getting ready to start out there. Are they going to play the national anthem, guys? So we'll have to... Probably switch out to the front for the national anthem and introduction of the referees. Is that okay? Switch to the front for the referee stuff. Am I, am I still on? Am I hot or not? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the individual that will be appreciating this sporting session. They are all volunteers. They volunteer their time and they volunteer their monetary resources. Which is all right, you hear Gino in the background. Introducing our referees. Uh, we see them from the waist up right now. <laughs> or up the waistline. Ladies and gentlemen, platform one on the left-hand side of the venue. Hailing from Miami Beach, Florida. And Whitmarsh should be one of our referees today. There'll be two platforms. There'll be a total of about nine referees, three plat three referees on each platform, uh, and th three on each of the platforms, and three of the jury. Now, if you've never had the opportunity to compete in USA powerlifting or in a bench pressing only event, folks, bench pressing is the world's most popular lift. And we would highly encourage you, if you had the opportunity, step on the platform. It doesn't matter about your lift. It's about getting out there and saying, hey, I'm going to take the shot. I'm going to give my best effort. The strongest lifter doesn't always win. Sometimes it's the smartest lifter making the right decisions and the right calls in the competition. And he's introducing Becky Jacobson as a side referee. Mike Kirby from Nebraska as well as a referee today. And Alice Kershaw will be the head referee on one of the platforms. And he just introduced the technical controller. Ready. I'm good to go. 
Do we know the minute, Terry? Do we know the 20 seconds, Terry? It's ready. Hey, I did. All right, go ahead, light it up there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2019 USA Powerlifting Bench Press National Champions, hosted by Jonah Leo Hill, the Super Bowl side of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, give me a round of applause to Powerlifters. This is Powerlifting. Live at the 2019 USA Powerlifting Bench Press Nationals in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Our first lifter is on the platform. Topinga Tegelman has 60 kilos, 132 pounds on the bar. She takes the weight down to her chest. Easy opening attempt for Topinga. And on platform two, we got Ivan Zwick. He's opening up with 110 pounds on the bar. That was a good lift. You see Ivan selling on the right hand side. You see Ivan selling in the bar. Now we're doing two platforms. If you, if you hear me, I'm bouncing back and forth between both platforms. We'll do our best to stay lined up with each and every one of them. Ivan Zwick locks it out. Let's see what the referees say. Three white lights for Ivan Zwick. On platform one, we have Dora Justice. She's coming up with 154 pounds on the bar. Up next on platform two is Alyssa Saunders. 143 pound opening bench press. Both these young ladies are in the, in the well, we got master division and team division. Dora is a master's 367 kilo weight class. Alyssa settles on the bar, you see, and we start to see Dora settle under. Dora takes the handoff in just a minute. <laughs> but it looks like Alyssa's got the handoff. Both of them synchronized. All right, we bring, we bring it down to their chest. Alyssa gets a press command, drives it home. Dora gets it up a little slower, but she drives it home to lock out as well. Great lift by both ladies. That's how it's done. Your opening bench press at the bench press snatch. All right, up next we have Dana Snow, Iron Maiden's team, and Faith Fisher. Dana is a female Masters 2. We know she's female, but Masters 2, 57 kilo weight class. And we've got a Faith Fisher is in the team one, 12 to 13 years old, 84 kilo weight class. All right, you see Dana on your left. Dana is on your screen. She's settling under the bar right now. Faith is holding up. She's getting ready to come on out. You have one minute to take the start command from the head referee once your name has been called or the bar has been called low. Dana takes the weight. Down to her chest. Ooh, struggles on the left side, but locked it out. It looked good to me. Let's see what the referees say. Three white lights for Dana Snow. All right, Faith Fisher, she's settling in the bar right now. She's going about to get her handoff. From the handoff guy. Take the bar from the handoff guy. Gets the start command from the head referee. Down to her chest. Ooh, oh well, Faith could be in trouble. That looks like a double, double pump there. Let's see what the referees say. No, up and down the bar is pretty clear. That means the shirt popped off her shirt so fast that she didn't catch up with prepared for it. She's got to be ready when the weight comes off her chest to catch up and drive it all the way to the lockout. Next up, we have one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, Tammy Lauer. She's opening up 176 pounds on the bar. Tammy brings it to her chest. Easy opening attempt for Tammy Lauer. Drives it home to lockout. That's how it's done, folks. Platform two, Sarah Bowen is up with 90 kilos. We're almost a 200 pound opening attempts, folks. It's going fast. She's a Masters two, this is Masters two, over 50 years of age, Sarah Bowen opening with 198 pounds on the bar. Sherry, Shelly Balser on platform one, getting set up. And oh, Sarah popped it off the chest and I guess she just locked it, missed the bubble and came, 
came out of the bubble of the pitch shirt. So she just came off. She'll redo, probably re, most likely redo that attempt, our second, that lift, our second attempt. Shelly brings it down to her chest, drives it off fast. A little bit of a struggle, but she's locked it out. I think that's three good lift. Let's see what the referees say. Two to one, good lift. On platform two, Oscar Mercado. We're over 200 pounds now. He has 203, 204 pounds on the bar. 203 points. I call it 204. 204 pounds on the bar in the 66 kilo, 143 pound men's class. On platform one, we have Michaela Exter. Oscar gets the start command down to his chest. Easy opening attempt for Oscar Mercado. Kayla's up. She's got 193 pounds on the bar, 192.9. I call it 193. We're going to round up all day. Baby. All right, 193 pounds on the bar for Michaela. Takes the weight in her Team USA singlet. Down to her chest. Drives it home to lockout. Looks like a good lift to me. And the referees agree, good lift. Now we have one of the Thompson family, the first member of the Thompson family today, Tucker Thompson, on platform two. Down to his chest, drives it off with authority and locks it out. Good job, Tucker. You're gonna see that, oh, oh, oh. Can't see it from our point of view, but Tucker got two to one turned down. Interesting, didn't expect that. Looked like a good lift from our point of view. So, up next, on platform one is Jody Funk with 198 pounds on the bar. On platform two with 220 pounds on the bar, Cindy Amatozo. She's a member of Thompson's gym, we just saw Tucker. Jody from Minnesota brings it down to her chest. Dry. Oh, nice opening attempt for Jody Funk. It looks solid. She looks strong and solid. All right, on platform one coming up now, as they load the bar, is Jamie Bridges. Jamie will be taking 998 pounds as well. Cindy takes the weight from her handoff. Down to her chest. 220 pounds, drives it home, hit the, good job, Cindy. Came fast off the bubble, she caught up with it and drove it home to lockout. Great job, that. way to stay with it. Up next on platform two is Daniel Sides. He's going 220 pounds well. On platform one, Jamie Bridges brings 198 pounds of chest, drives it home with authority to lock out. That's the easy opening attempt. Good job for Jamie. Up next on platform one, Charlene Balser Rokat. If I butcher your name today, I apologize in advance. I'll do my best not to butcher it. I think I got that one right. They're all a challenge. Charlene Balser Rokamp is going to be going 209 pounds on platform one. On platform two, we've got 220 pounds. Daniel Sides taking the weight with a medium grip down to his chest. Ooh, drives it home to lock out. Easy opening attempt. Smart move, getting on the ball. All right, up next on platform two is Thomas Boybell. But right now, Charlene takes the weight down to her chest. Comes off the chest like a rocket. Oh, and drives it home to lock out. I think she's going to get white lights. Let's see what the referees say. Three white lights. Up next is Thomas. Thomas Moivo. You see him pacing back and forth. He looks like he's got some blood in his eyes. He's ready to fight today. Settling for his first attempt. 220 pounds on the ball. And on platform one, one of the legends of the sport, Morris Shuttleworth. Thomas drives it home 220 like it was nothing. Now, if you'll see Morris Shuttleworth, she's in the 57 kilo weight class. She's going. To, her setup is very unique. She has a tremendous arch in her bench press. See how she lays back on her head right there? It's just very interesting. It settles her shoulders. Then she'll one in time bring her feet down and maintain her arch and putting her glutes in constant contact with the bench press. Then she'll grab the bar. Mora is opening with 248 pounds today. Come on, on platform Jack two, Rubio. Jack Rubio, 242 as well. Mora 
Takes the weight down to her chest. Gets the start command, press command, drives it home to lockout, and Jack Rubio just crushes 242 pounds as well. Two, six white lights, three for Mora, three for Jack. Great list, guys. Up next is Chelsea Houston. She has 253 pounds on the bar, opening attempt. Her and Mora are going head to head in the 57 open. The women's 57 open. Up on the platform two, we have Marie Brendan. She's part of the Iron Maidens powerlifting team. And she is going. And she's an over 50 lifter for the Masters, too. And she's going to be going for 248 pounds on the bar. And on the platform one, you see Chelsea Houston, 250, 254 pounds on the bar. Marie gets a start command. Down to the chest. Oh, it comes back and lost it. Control of it. She'll have to take that again. But Chelsea takes the weight down to her chest. Drives it off with authority. Good lift. It's an easy opening attempt for Chelsea Hustad. No, two to one. Interesting. All right, up next on platform two is Jill Arno. On platform one, we have Isabella Alea. Isabella is part of the Iron Maidens powerlifting team. It's an all-female powerlifting team. I believe they're based in Alaska. Jill Arno is a USA Powerlifting World Team coach. She's been my coach on the Team USA several times. Really nice lady. Looks like they're going simultaneously. Jill breaks it down to her chest. Drives it off. Lock it out, Jill. And she does. On platform one, Isabella drives it home to lockout and hits the lift. Good job. Both of them, three whites for Jill, two for Isabella. Good lifts all the way around. Up now, the second member of the Thompson family, Jennifer Thompson. I can't tell you how many times she's won the IPF World Bench Press and Powerlifting World Championship. So she's a real treat to watch her lift. She's opening up with 276 pounds on the bar. 75.58, call it 276. On platform two, Scott Hansen. He's opening up with 270 pounds on the bar. More than twice her body weight as an opener. Give me a round of applause to Jen Thompson. Jen is in the no close to double body weight opening bench press. That's very, very heavy. All right, they got the weight. Both got the press command. Jen, Jen drives home the lockout with authority. Scott Hansen does the same. Looks like six white lights all the way around. Great job, guys. All right, our final lifter in the... Jen was our final lifter in the first first uh, first round, round one. Uh, now we're going to start back over the second attempt bench press for Topanga Tegelman on platform one. On platform two, we have IPF. Here comes the US. American record holder in his weight class. Yes, the current American He's record holder in the bench. We have William Garcia. William Garcia is up on platform two. He's a member of Team Titan. They take the weight. William down to the chest. Easy opening attempt for William and Topinga down to her chest. Easy opening att second attempt for her. Topinga's good. She's going hot. She's a six white lights for Topinga. Good job for her. Up next on platform one is Dora Justice. And on platform two is Steve Petrenzik. Dora is taking our second attempt of 160 pounds on the bar. Steve Petrenzik, he's taking his opening bench press of 281 pounds on the bar. Steve is a team um, U.S. national team coach. He's coached many, many world champions. He does a fantastic job. And Dora is settling in. She's a master's three. She's over 60 years of age. Steve brings it down to his chest, drives it home to lockout 281 like it was nothing. Dora, 160 pounds, down to her chest, and a little slow on the chest, but she got it. She locked it out. Good job, Dora, on that second attempt. Really strong. All right, up next is Dana Snow. Dana, Dana Snow is up with 182 pounds on the bar. All right, Dana Snow on 
on platform two is Ellen Gosling. She'll be doing her. She has the heaviest attempt so far on platform two of 287 pounds. This is impressive, folks. And she is, no, we got a couple more. Big flight on platform two. Ellen takes the weight. Brings it down to her chest and drives it home to lock out. Great job. Dana down to her chest. Pops it off. That left arm will struggle. Left arm struggle. She locks out the right. Uh, no. Really good attempt, but the left arm, it just looks like it's having a little bit of a problem. It couldn't drive it through. If she can get her left arm to go with her right arm. I think she can easily hit that weight. All right. Up next is Tammy Lauer on platform one and Robert Granko on platform two. All right, Tammy Lauer has got 182 pounds, second attempt. And Robert Greco, his opening attempt is three, over over 300 now, 303 pounds. Solid opener for Robert. Looks good from my perspective. Tammy down to the chest. Solid, drove it home. That's a really good choice for a second attempt. She's got another two and a half kilos in her, I believe. Good job, Tammy. Up next is Shelly Balser, 193 pounds of the bar, and on platform one. Platform two is Natalie Richards with three. Woohoo! This young lady is opening big, opening big. 336 pound opening attempt for Natalie Richardson. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Here we go. This is one of Jonah Leo. You saw him earlier, the meet director. Jonah Leo, one of his teammates. Natalie Richardson, down to the chest. Oh, she's bobbling. Oh, they take the weight. Shelly pops it off her chest. Her left arm's a little slow. She's struggling. Come on, you got to get a catch up. Come on. Oh, couldn't get that left arm to catch up. That happens when you get off balance and one arm's just, a, yeah, you kind of equal strength or, slight, or slightly lesser strength than one arm. When you get unbalanced, it's very difficult to catch back up and bench press. All right. I think, I hope Natalie comes back and gets in our second attempt. Up next, Michael Haffenberg on platform two with 342 pounds on the bar. And on platform one is Michaela Extra. She's going for 204 pounds second attempt. Hafferbrack yeah. takes the weight from right. handoff. Do Down to his chest. Gets the press command. Solid opening attempt at 342. Michaela down to her chest. Pops it off. Ooh, that looks good. Michaela looks good. Two. Solid 204. Good job, Michaela. All right, up next on platform one, we have Jamie Bridges. 210 pounds. On platform two, we have Lydia Melee with 364 pounds opening it. It just keeps getting heavier, folks. This young woman is a junior. I mean, she's under 23 years of age, lifting in the junior in the open, and she's opening, folks, opening weight. She's got three attempts. She's opening at 364 pounds. Absolutely awesome. Jamie Bridges takes the handoff, 210 pounds, down to her chest, and locks it out. And Lydia, easy opening attempt for Lydia. Wow, I'm a Gino on that. She just crushed that weight. That was phenomenal. All right, wow, that was, that was quite a flight. I'm, I'm almost exhausted at that first round on platform two. All right. And now to Jody Funk on platform one with 215 pounds on the bar. On platform two, we have a platform one is Jody Funk, 215 pounds on the bar. You see her setting up right now. On platform two, we have Alyssa Saunders. She's going for one. Our second attempt is 154 pounds on the bar. 
Let's go exhorting Mike Ray. 214 bucks for Jody Funk, Masters Royal in Colorado, Minnesota. Jody Funk. Now Alyssa's taking her time getting out her. She's got one minute, 30 seconds left. Jody takes the weight, brings it down to her chest. Comes off with authority. Ooh, struggles on the right side a bit. I think that's good lift. I don't think the bar dipped. We'll see what the referee say. Two to one agreed with me. The head referee, well, there you go. We'll let him be. <laughs> Alyssa, Sa Alyssa Saunders crushes her, her second attempt of 154 pounds. All right, on platform one, we have Charlene Bosser Rokin with 226 pounds on the bar. And on platform two, second attempts, I'm Zwick with 154 pounds. Ivan Zwick will be 80 years old this year. Awesome. Still be out living. Better come on up, though. He's got 55 seconds left. Charlene takes the weight. Brings it down to her chest. And just coming back towards her face. Flares her elbows and drives it home. That was impressive. She fought that one through. I think she's going to get white lights. Three white lights for Charlene Bosser. Up next, we have Maura Shuttleworth. Maura Shuttleworth is in a major battle with Chelsea Hustad for first place in the open division. Maura is in a big battle, but Ivan Zwick brings it down to his chest. 79 years old, locks the left arm out, gets the rack command. Good job. Two to one, good lift. Up next on platform two is Faith Fisher with 187 pounds. Right now on platform one, we have Maura Shuttleworth. 264.55, 265 pounds on the bar. She's in an intense battle with Chelsea Hustad. Chelsea. All right, here comes Faith. She's getting things lined out where she wants the bar placed in the handoff. Maura is settling under, got her arch set. Let's see how it goes. 265 pounds for Maura Shuttleworth. She takes the weight from Eric Curry. Down to her chest. Drives it home with authority. Maura Shuttleworth is in the lead in the 57 open class. Very good. Very strong lift for Maura. Looks like she's got more left in the tank. Up next is Faith Fisher on platform two with 187 pounds. Second attempt. Tucking her elbows in, down to her chest. Easy second attempt for Faith. Great form by Faith. Very good job. All right, here comes Chelsea Hustad. She's going for 270 pounds on the bar. She's going two and a half kilos more than Morris Shuttleworth, and she wants to see if she can take down, take down a legend in bench press. Chelsea takes the weight, 270 pounds on the bar. Down to her ends her singlet. Oh, lost the weight. Oh, good catch by the spotters. That's what those face savers are there for. Oh, my goodness. I think they caught it. I think she's going to be okay. Woo, that's what happened. She lost the weight, came back. All right, Sarah Bolin on platform two, 198 pounds. And Sarah struggles a little bit, but she fought it out. Let's see what the referees say. It could have been a little up and down. Good lift. Great job. All right, up next on platform one is Isabella Aliet. She's going up to 281 pounds on the bar. On platform two, we have Tucker Thompson, 209 pounds on the bar. Well, I guess I need to stay corrected. I guess only three of the Thompson family lifted today. The younger brother lifted only in the raw competition. And here we go with Tucker in the equipped as well. And did the raw yesterday. Tucker takes 209 pounds on the bar. But I, Isabella drives it off her second attempt, 281, locks it out. And so does Tucker. Easy second attempt for both of them. Good job, guys. Up next on platform one, paralleling her son is Jennifer Thompson. Very interesting. And on platform two is a member of Jennifer's gym, Thompson's gym. If you're not benching, they're sleeping. <laughs> 
Jennifer Thompson's on platform one with 303 pounds, second attempt. On platform two, Cindy Amatuzo is up 200, 248 pounds on the bar. That's your correct. I heard just Gino say it. Thompson's gym on platform one and Thompson's gym on platform two. Sure is. Jennifer Thompson, the owner of Thompson's gym, and Cindy Amatuzo, one of the members on platform two. Jennifer down to her chest. Solid second attempt at 303. Cindy up with 248. Ooh, came back towards her head. She can try that again on a third. All right, up next is third attempts on the first flight. Third attempt on flight one, platform platform one, is Topinga Tegelman. Sorry about that. Topinga Tegelman. She's up with 154 pounds, third, oh, third attempt. Topinga's two for two so far. She's going to have a perfect, try to see she can go perfect day of three for three. And right now we've got Marie Brendan with 248 pounds on the bar, platform two. Down to the chest. Solid second attempt from Marie Brennan. Excellent job. A member of the Iron Maidens from Alaska. I like that. And Topinga brings it down to her chest. 154 pounds. Oh, easy third attempt. Topinga, she definitely left a few, few kilos out there. She looked very strong. All right, up next on platform one, we have an American record attempt. Great job of nine for nine guys catching that. American record attempt for Dora Justice, a Masters three, over 60 years of age. She's going for 165 pounds at over 60 years of age in the 57 kilo weight class. That's 125 pound weight class. On platform two, we have Oscar Mercado. He's up with 248 pounds on the bar. Brings it down to his chest, he's pulling the weight down. Pops it off his chest. Oh, a little up and down. No lift for Oscar. All right, here we go with Dora Justice attempting an American record. It's got a little ACDC back in black firing out there. Dora gets a start command. Down to her chest. Comes off a little slow, but she's driving through it, and oh, oh this is going to be close. Let's see what the referees say. A new American record for Dora Justice. Great job. You can see her enthusiasm. She is pumped up. Up next, we have Jill Arnold on platform two and just misses it, 275 pounds. Mm, that was tough. On platform one, we have Dana Snow. 182 pounds on the bar. And on platform two, we have 287 pounds on the bar for Scott Hansen. Scott's a Masters one in the 74 kilo weight class. And Dana is part of the Iron Maidens powerlifting team, female powerlifting team out of Alaska. If she's successful, she will remain in first place, it says. She's currently in first, holding on and locking down her spot. And Scott Hanson locks it out, and Dana comes up a little short on the left side. Scott with three wide lights. Dana didn't quite finish the lift. Up next is Tammy Lauer, who is wanting to secure her place in the bronze medal in the women's 63. She's in the third place in the bronze medal in the open and second place in the Masters 2. Uh, and on platform two, we have Ellen Gosling. Ellen's up to, ooh, this is nice, 298 pounds on the bar for Ellen Gosling. Tammy down to the chest. She comes off, I think she's got it, I think she's got it. Oh, nice lift by Tammy Lauer. 187 pounds with authority. Ellen Gosling. 
And I just missed it, but she got three white lights and a good attempt. Up on platform one is Shelly Bowser. On platform two, we have Robert Granko. Shelly on platform one is 193 pounds on the bar for a final attempt. Shelly missed it on her second attempt. She's going to get it on her third. And Robert Granko is going for 309 pounds, second attempt. All right, and Shelly's driving home. Looks like he hit the sticking point. Ooh. Oh, so close yet so far. Robert down to the chest, 309 pounds. Drives it home to lock out. Great job, Robert. Excellent. Now on platform one, we have Michaela Exter. And on platform two, we have Steve Patrenzi. Michaela is going for 200 and looks like 215 pounds on the bar. And Steve Patrenzi is going for 331 pounds on the bar. All right, Michaela's up. She's settling her arch in. Steve's getting fired up. He's shaking his fist right before he lays down. He's excited. He wants his weight. 331. It's a big number for Steve. Michaela takes away, takes the handoff at 215. Down to her chest. Steve's down to his chest. Synchronized. And Michaela locks it out. And Steve locks it out. I bet six white lights, folks. No, four white lights. Two to one for both of them. Great job. Good job, guys. Jamie Bridges. All right, up next on platform one is Jamie Bridges with 220 pounds on the bar. She's two for two so far. It's be a perfect day if she gets this one. Now, platform two, we have Natalie Richardson. She missed this the first time out, so she needs to get this to stay in the game. Needs to get this lift. All right, here we go, Jamie Bridges. Down to her chest. Pops it off. Just Natalie Richardson down to her chest. And both ladies miss. Oh, Natalie lost it behind her. And Chelsea just couldn't quite lock it out. Jamie couldn't quite lock it out. Up next on platform one is Charlene Balser Rokin. She has got 231 pounds on the bar. Now, platform two, Michael Halfenbrook, 358 pounds on the bar. Seems like we're not getting into alternating lifters right now. They're all synchronizing, so we're kind of going together. 231 pounds on the bar for Charlene, and Michael has 358 pounds on the bar. Michael takes the handoff, brings it down to his chest, Solid, solid, solid. Ooh, his left arm. Oh, his left arm got behind and couldn't finish the lift. All right, Charlene takes the weight. Brings it to her chest. Oh, shot back towards her face. Good job by the spotters are loaded. Fantastic job. All right, Linda Melee Mele is on platform two with 375 pounds on the bar. And on, and on platform one is Jody Funk. She is currently in third place. She's looking to jump ahead of Chelsea Hustad, tie her, and move her into silver medal position. This is exciting, folks. It's 57 kilo open women's class. It's getting really tight. Really exciting and really tight. Now, on platform two, Linda Melee. Lydia, I'm sorry. Lydia Melee. 375 pounds on the bar. She takes the handoff. Lydia looks strong. Down to her chest. Lydia fires it up and locks it out. Now Jody Funk, 253 pounds. Down to her chest. Oh, not today for Jody. Oh, so tough. So now it's down to Chelsea Hustad. Her name is called. She's going to go for the same attempt. 
And on platform two, we have another American record attempt. This is everyone in the United States. This is the best of the best. William Garcia is going to set the American record right now by second attempt bench press of 400.65. Let's call it 406 pound bench press on his second attempt. Now, platform one, Chelsea Hustaw is trying to get back in contention and move back into gold medal position. She missed her last one bad. Let's see how she handles the second one. Third attempt, third attempt. She looks strong at the handoff. Brings it down to her chest. Shoots it up. Oh, I think she's got it. Well, let's see what the referees say. Let's see what they say. Yes. Two to one, good lift. So Chelsea is now in the lead, and Maura Shuttleworth has a lighter body weight. Let me double check this for us. Yes, Maura has a lighter body weight. All she has to do is tie her to beat her. American record on platform two, William Garcia presses, presses, presses. Oh, he stalls out at the 90 degree mark. He can take that again. I think he's got a shot at that if he wants to try it again on his third attempt. Now, on platform one, Maura Shuttleworth is going for the win in the 57 kilo class, 125 pound female open division. If she hits this, she wins. If she misses, Chelsea Hustad, who just came back and hit 125, 175 pounds, will be the winner. It's all to play for for Maura Shuttleworth right now. She set up. She takes the weight from Mary Curry. Down to her chest. Gets the press command. Oh, let's see what the ref. Moore locked it out. Oh, my. Let's see what the referee say. And the referee say two to one. Good lift. Moore Shuttleworth is your national champion in the 57 Open Kilo class. <laughs> On platform one, we have Isabella Aliev with 292 pounds. On platform two, Thomas Mobile. With 529 pound second attempt bench press. Thomas down his chest. Oh, lost as it came off his chest. Good attempt. Isabella Aliyev comes up with from the Iron Maidens powerlifting team. She just putting a little more glory on that gold medal. Her shining it up a little bit with 292 pounds. Down to her chest. Oh, she comes off good, strong. Lock it out, Isabella. Lock it out. Lock it out. Oh, her left arm. I hate that. See, that's happened to me many times. That one arm just will not go, and the other, two, other one said, hey, I got it. Great attempt. The left arm just didn't quite lock out with the body. All right, up next on platform one is the legend, IPF world champion, Jennifer Thompson from Thompson's Gym. Now, platform two is Alyssa Saunders, 165 pounds of the bar, third attempt, down to her chest. Solid looking. Oh, she locked it out. Let's see what the referees say. Three white lights. Great job. Great job for Alyssa. Now, Jennifer Thompson is settling under the bar with... 300 and it says 319.67. That's called 320 pounds. That's what it is. She brings it down to her chest, drives it off with authority. I think she's got to finish it, Jennifer. Finish it. Oh, <laughs> just couldn't lock it out. Oh, that's frustrating. All right, on platform two, Ivan Zwick. Ivan Zwick is up. With 165 pounds on the bar, 79-year-old Ivan Zwick turns 80 this year. And up next, well, maybe he already is 80. On platform one, Sue Burns, the wife of USA Powerlifting team coach Mike Burns. Ivan Zwick comes off his chest, not quite today with 165 pounds. Sue Burns, 99-pound opening attempt. Looks like she's going raw in her opening attempt. Decked out in her SBD apparel. And you'll see these lifters wearing all kinds of different apparel. Tight insert to SPD. I mean, all kinds of different equipment. And here's down to the chest for Sue. Easy. Wow, Sue. 
I think she needs to put some weight on the bar. Definitely. And on platform, platform two, third attempt, Tucker Thompson is going for 220 pounds on the bar. Down to his chest. Oh, solid attempt for Tucker Thompson. Technically per perfection. <laughs> All right, I'm, this is flight, B, flight C on platform one. Michelle Ebel is up with 138 pounds on the bar. On platform two is Faith Fisher with her third attempt. Oh, all right, Michelle. She's settling it down. Not sure what's going on, Michelle. Platform one. Let's see. She'll lay down there. And we'll give her the handoff. Something's going on. Let's go over to platform two. We have Faith Fisher coming up. Two hundred and twenty. She's chipped it. Now that's interesting. That's got to be a record of some sort. She goes 100.5, an American record attempt. May not be on the screen right now, but it looks like Faith Fisher taking a team one for Faith Fisher, 222 pounds on the bar. Anytime you see a half a kilo it is like that, it's going to be a chip like that, will be an American record attempt. Faith takes the weight. Michelle on platform one. Oh, looks like she probably double pumped. Let's we'll see what the referee say on that one. No, oh, up and down the bar. Now the Amer back to the American record attempt by Faith Fisher on platform two. 221 pounds, caught 222. She brings, oh, lost the weight. Good job by the spotters and loaders from Midland University. I think these guys are doing a fantastic job. These spotters and loaders from Midland, they're a world champion powerlifting team at a Midland University in Nebraska. They are currently the leaders in power, collegiate powerlifting. Small school, big lifters, Midland University. Up next on platform one is Anna Zavala. Anna Zavala on platform one, 165 pound opening attempt. Gino and I agree. <laughs> she presses up easy opening attempt for Anna. On platform two is Sarah Bolin. This will move her into second place in the silver medal position. And she drives off her chest. Oh, no lift, no lift. <laughs> Tough break. She'll have to settle for that bronze medal. Now, again, and what is going on with these women's 84 class? We've got some serious battles going on here, the women's 84s. That's right, Gino. This is for the gold, put her in gold medal position. Who's currently in the lead there? All right, Sydney Amatuzo is attempting to move up. Joni Mock just got three white lights on platform one. Sydney Amatuzo is going for the gold medal on platform two. On her third attempt, let's put her in gold medal position. Comes off her chest. I think she's got it. No, comes back towards her head, loses it. She'll settle for a silver medal. <laughs> on platform one, Linda Park has got 165 kilos on the bar. Linda Park brings it down to her chest, pops it off with authority. Easy opening attempt for Linda Park. Good job. Well, not sure what the red light was for, but good lift regardless. All right, on platform two, Oscar Mercado. He's down to 30 right, seconds. Get this attempt in. 248 pounds on the bar. If successful, this will move my Oscar in the men's team. Team one, 13 to 14 years of age, move him into first place. Oscar is attempting to get, go for the gold medal right here. Come on, Amy. 
Down to his chest. Pops it off. Oh, it's impressive. Fighting it all the way. Oh, and down to the chest for Amy. Easy opening attempt for Amy Suzanne. Oscar came up just a bit short. Well, this is interesting. This Elizabeth Richardson is part of the South Dakota Oldies But Goodies powerlifting team. Interesting group. On platform two is Marie Brendan with the Iron Maiden powerlifting team out of Alaska. Elizabeth is opening up with 182 pounds of the bar, and Marie is her third attempt with 254 pounds. Solid lift for Marie Brennan. Very good job. Elizabeth Richardson down to her chest. Pops it off. Oh, based on the weather I've seen so far, I'm guessing the referees just say up and down the bar. Two to one. Side referees were generous. All right, here we go. On platform one, that's Gretchen Patsios. Is up with 204 pounds on the bar. Now, this is the... Jill Arno is up with 276 pounds, third attempt. She misses on her second. She's coming back, she's gonna try to get on her third. Off her chest, no, not enough tricep power today. Gretchen Patsios comes with 204 pounds of the bar, down to the chest. Solid opening attempt for Gretchen, good job. Up next on platform one is a legend, a former meet, a meet, well, a current meet director. She's had the bench press national at her place in minimum two times, maybe three more. Had international championships, world championships. Jennifer Ray Goodrow, it's her first time on the platform in over three years. And on platform two, Scott Hansen has 298 pounds on the bar. Third attempt. Easy third attempt for Scott. Great job, Scott. Technical, technically perfect. Perfect. Technical perfection. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here comes Jennifer Goudreau. Jennifer Ray Goudreau. She's up with first opening attempt, 204 pounds on the bar. Jennifer brings it down to her chest. That looks like a good opening attempt. Three white lies for Jennifer Goudreau. All right, on platform two, Ellen Gosling has 309 pounds on the ball. On platform one, we have Taryn Albright, 220 pounds on the bar. Ellen bringing it down to her chest, drives it off her chest, and locks it out. Let's see what the referees say, a third attempt. Three wide lines. Taryn settles her hips down, brings the weight down to her chest. Very short range of motion. Great job, Taryn Albright. All right, up next is Deanna Wood. On platform one with 237 pounds. On platform two is Robert Greco with 331 pounds on the bar. Robert takes the weight down to his chest. Drives it up, ooh, right arm, right arm struggle, go push through, lock it out, lock it out. There he goes. That's a way to fight through it, way to grind, Robert. I hope he's rewarded. Two white lights, two to one, good lift for Robert. Now up next we have Natalie Richardson on platform, platform two. Looks like Deanna Wood may be timing out if she doesn't hurry. I don't, there's no sense of urgency in this young lady. She has 10 seconds left. What's she doing? 
Lady, you got to lay down. You got to get under the bar. You can't do this. You only have one minute to attempt your attempt. Three, two, one. Time. No lift. You got. You can't do that. You can't. They're, they're not going to wait for you. It's a national event. You've got to be ready to lift when your name is called. All right, on platform two, you see the countdown for each person time. I hope somebody or coach gets a hold of that young lady and says, Deanna, we got to make sure we're ready next time. All right, up next on platform two is Natalie Richardson. She says to stay in the meet. She missed her first two. She's going for a third attempt. Here we go. She, she went up and wait. Brings it down to her chest. Pops it off. Can she lock it out? No! Oh. Sorry, see, Natalie didn't get a lift in today. Hopefully come back and get some in another meet. All right, on platform one, Madison Meyer. On platform two is Michael Havenbrack. Madison Meyer takes the weight down to the chest. Easy opening attempt. Good job for Madison. Platform two, Michael Hafenbrack. He's still not come out. He's got 358 pounds on the bar. And on platform one, we have Carly Walk. With 336 pounds on the bar. All right, Michael Hafenbrack. Carly Walker. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. 358 pounds. And Michael drives it home, drives it home, left arm, left arm, oh! Seen a lot of that today so far. A lot of left arms struggling to get locked out. Now, on platform two, we have Steve Petrenzik, but first we have Carly Walker on platform one with 336 pounds, opening attempt, down to the chest, easy, that's how it's done. Carly Walker, solid, opening attempt. On platform two, we have USA National Team Coach, Steve Petrensic. He's going for an American record. He's going for the American record tip in the Masters 266 kilo weight class. He, that's right, Gino. Steve wants it all. He's like, he's like the Queen song. I want it all. He's going for it. 365 pound attempt, chipping the American record for Steve Petrensic. Right here, here we go, Steve. He takes the handoff for Rebecca Lair on platform one. Steve down to the chest. Drive, no, not today for Steve. On platform two, platform one, we have Rebecca Lair, 342 pound opening bench press. She is doing the 84 kilo women's open and the Masters one. Rebecca takes the weight. Down to the chest. Smooth attempt for Rebecca Lair. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Lydia Millie. Lydia Millie is 386 pound third attempt. On platform two, this is huge, huge. Lydia brings it down. Oh, very, locks it out. Wow. That is one strong young lady, under 23 years of age. That girl has got a huge future in this sport. On platform one, we have Sue Burns at 110 kilos, second attempt. Well, that was a fast press command. And the referees say, three white lights. Great job for Sue. I still think Sue really needs to put some weight on the bar. Everything looks really easy for her today. All right, platform two. We have William Garcia coming back up. Uh, he tried an American record before. I guess this is still an American record. It has to be. It's 194 kilos. So he's going for the American record again. With 406 pounds on the bar, American record attempt for William Garcia. On platform one, we got Michelle Ebel with 138 pounds, second attempt.
takes the weight. Michelle takes the weight. Down to her chest. Easy second attempt from Michelle. Good job. William gets down to his chest, and it's unfortunately it stayed there. Just wasn't there today, 406 pounds. So third attempt coming up on platform two for Thomas Moybell. 520 pounds, 29 pounds. He missed this on his second attempt. Let's see if he can come back and get it on his third. On platform one, we have Linda Park, 176 pounds on the bar. Second attempt for Linda. Linda takes the weight. Brings it down to her chest. Easy second attempt. Linda looks strong. She's got a lot more left in her. Thomas Moybell's third attempt at 529 pounds on platform two. He's done well. He's in first place in Masters 1, 93 kilo class. 205 pounds. The weight is 529. Pops it off his chest. Can he get it? Can he lock it out like that? No. Just a bit heavy. Looks like he had control of it. Just couldn't finish it. Good job, Thomas. You got a gold medal today. All right. Up next on platform one is Anna Zavala. Anna is going with 182 pounds on the bar. All right, Anna takes away. Looks like she's got three white lights. Up next, we have Jody Mock with 182 pounds on the bar as well. All right, Jody's coming out. Jody's getting settled up. All right, she takes the weight. Brings it down to her chest. Drives it off. Easy second attempt for Joni Mock. What a great lift by her for 182 pounds. You know, it's much easier with just one platform instead of two. That's something to be considered. All right, we're waiting on platform two. They're going to go into the flight B here in just a second. That was a long flight A. That was a big flight. Big flight. But while we wait, we're going to really rock and roll hard here on platform one. Keep knocking them out. And Elizabeth Richardson takes the weight at 187 pounds on the bar. Brings it down to her chest. Comes off good, comes off good, and she drives it home to lock out. She definitely is an oldie but a goodie from South Dakota with three white lights. Amy Suzanne is up next with 193 pounds on the bar. All right, Amy's settling in there. She's really, she must be feeling it. She's taking a couple extra grips, a couple of her moves. There she goes. She's got the weight. Amy Suzanne, 193. Down to her chest. She looks strong. Oh, a shot back. That's why she's a little nervous. She gripped it a couple extra times. It must have been a PR weight there for her. But she looked good. She just missed it. See if she can stay in the groove and come back and get it on her third attempt. All right, up next is Gretchen Patsios. She's up with 215 pounds on the bar. Gretchen is in the Masters 2 division. She's over 50 years of age in the 72 kilo weight class. I believe that's 156 pounds. So here we go. Gretchen Patsios, 215 pounds on the bar. Second attempt, 
Oh. Well, now she got the star command, so technically she's okay. If she can lock it out. No, she can't lock it out. Jumped the gun and may have took a little bit of her tricep strength away when she did that. Uh, jumped the gun before she got the star command. Up next, a second attempt from a returning to the platform lifter, meet, national meet director and world team member, Jennifer Ray Goudreau. She's up with 215 pounds, second attempt on the bar. It's really good to see Jennifer back on the platform. She's got all her health problems solved, and she is back at it and fired up and ready to go with 215 pounds on the bar. And you see her big... Big man, her husband, big 16-time world champion, Dan Gaudreau in the background. Here we go. Jennifer settles under the bar. Gets situated, gets her grips. You see Eric Curry. He's stepping up to do the handoff. All right, she takes the weight. Jennifer brings it down to her chest. Presses it off. Ooh, easy. Oh, second attempt for Jennifer Ray Goudreau. I think Jennifer's going to have to put some weight on the bar. She's looking strong today. Next up is Deanna Wood. Deanna missed her opening attempt. I think it was a tough lift. Let's see if she could come back and get that on her second attempt. She's got 237 pounds on the bar. Good, good. Her coach has got her ready this time, and she's up, and she's ready to go. She won't time out this time. Good job, Deanna. Way to be prepared. She likes a big – she definitely needs a little extra time. She likes that setup. She's got 30 seconds left. She settles in, gets her arch and her feet set. She's in the team two, 15 to 16. Brings it down to her chest. 237 pounds. Drives it off. Easy, easy second attempt. Locked it out. Glad she made it in, got a lift in. Good job, Deanna. Up next is Madison Meyer. Madison is in the female team, too, as well. And she is going with 287 pounds on the bar. Mass is settling under the bar. She can her setups well. These, these teen ladies, they're really taking their time on their setups. Just don't run out of time again, ladies. Here we go. Mass takes the weight. Oh, she's got this. She literally pulled it out of Eric Curry's hands. Down to her chest. And locks it out for Madison Meyer. Good job. 287. Three white lights. Yeah, she's, I think she's got a little more left in her. She could hit th three big bills today. Up next is Taryn Albright with 309 pounds on the bar. Taryn is in the women's 72 kilo weight class. She got, she, whoa, Taryn went 200 pounds on her first, 220 pounds on her first attempt. She's taking a huge jump. From 220 pounds all the way up to 309 pounds, second attempt. Mega jump for Taryn Albright. She settles down. She's got a great arch and short range of motion. This should be interesting. Brings it down to the ends on her chest. Gets the press command. Locks it out. Looks good for Taryn. See what the referees say. Two to one. Good lift for Taryn Albright. All right, up next is Carly Walker. Carly Walker with 358 pounds on the bar. Oh, this is Carly Walker is the world record holder in the bench press. I guess that makes her a world champion, too, in the junior division, 84 kilo weight class for the ladies. Strong young lady. 358 pounds, second attempt. Brings it down to her chest. Gets the press command. 
Locks it out. Good job for Carly. Looks like it's going to be three white lights. Three white lights for Carly Walker. Good job for the world champ. Up next is Rebecca Lair. 364 pounds on the bar for Rebecca Lair. Second attempt. She's going up 22 pounds for her first attempt. Let's see how this goes. Rebecca is very experienced. I've been on national teams with her before. She's an incredible lifter. Incredible lifter. Looks like she's got her hands full in the 84 kilo class today, though. There's a battle going on here between these ladies for the open title. Maybe I'm wrong. There it is. Yeah, she's got. Yes, she does. All right. Rebecca settles under the bar. Takes the handoff from Eric Curry. Gets the star command for the head referee. Brings it down to her eagle on her chest. Presses it, locks it out with authority. Rebecca, that second attempt looked better than your first. You really settled that in. You look strong. She's got a lot more left in her. Let's see, it'd be interesting to see how high Rebecca wants to go today. I think she's got gold medal in her eye. We're down to our last, our last round of lifters, third attempts. In the first session one today, we'll do session two following, a little bit later today. But for our last, but last round of lifters, starting us off is Sue Burns. Sue's finally putting a little weight on the bar, I think. 126 pounds, she crushed her first two attempts of 99 and 110. So she made a 16 pound jump to go up or 17. Oh, just didn't quite get the bar moving. I think she got that moving. She's going to definitely lock that out. Well, she definitely found out where her PR was. That has been a PR attempt, but good effort by Sue Burns. Up next is Michelle Ebel with 149 pounds on the bar. Michelle Ebel settles it down. She's the Masters one. I mean, she's over 40 years of age in the 72 kilo weight crest. If she's successful in the Masters one, this will keep her in third place. She's in the Masters one with Jay, Jennifer Ray Goudreau and Amy Suzanne. Oops, I got that right. Yep. And it's a good lift for Michelle Ebel. I turn my head and she's. Good lift. Look at the scoreboard for a second. All right, up next is Linda Park. This is, looks like it's going to be a glory lift for her. If successful, she will remain in the gold medal position. That's the kind of lift you like. You win it on your first two and have a glory lift for the third. She's coming out with 187 pounds on the bar. Masters two, over 50 years of age, 84 kilo weight class, plus class. Linda Park. 187 pounds. All right, she takes the weight from the handoff. Mary Curry brings it down to her chest. And may have dipped on the left side as soon as she can lock it out. No. Very close, just not quite today. Good job. Good effort, Linda. All right, up next is Amy Suzanne. Amy's got 193 pounds on the bar. And she's in the women's, if she's successful, she'll remain in the silver medal position. She's going to this for lock down that silver medal in the women's Masters 172 kilo weight class. A nice attempt, third attempt. 193 pounds. Oh, a little bit up and down there. Let's see what the referees say. I think they took it, yeah. All right, up next will be Joni Mock. 
with 204 pounds as well. This is a big move in the female Masters 2 division. Masters 2, women's Masters 2, 72 kilo weight class. If she hits this, Joni Mock will pass Elizabeth Richardson and Gretchen Pat. If I got this right, Gretchen Patsios, and jump into first place. She comes off her chest. Oh, this is for the forward. This is for the gold medal. Can't you lock it out? Lock it out. Lock it out. Oh, no. So she'll settle for a bronze. Now it comes down to Gretchen Patsios and Elizabeth Richardson to settle the battle in the Masters 2 class. So Elizabeth Richardson is going to go for it as well. She's going to go for that gold medal. Mm -hmm. She's in silver medal position. She's two for two so far. So she's got momentum. Can't she take this momentum and carry it all the way to a gold medal here at the USA Powerlifting Bench Press Nationals? Presented by Leo Strength and Nine for Nine Media. All right, Elizabeth, 204 pounds on the bar. She's an oldie but a goodie from South Dakota, and she's moved, going for a gold medal right here. This puts her in gold medal position if she can hit 204-pound bench press down to her chest. Oh, no. Well, it looks like congratulations to Gretchen Patsio. She'll be your national champion, and – Elizabeth will be your silver medalist. But up next, we have Aina Zavala. She is, whoa. She's going for an American record attempt of 94.5 kilos, 211 pounds on the bar in the 13 to 14 year age group, team one. Let's see what she's got. 211 pounds on the bar for Anna, Z Z Anna Zavala. All right, here we go. She takes the weight. Football coach is like, Kaiko, no one's ever gonna care about how much you bench.
20 kilos. 265 pounds on the bar for Deanna Wood. Now, Deanna's got kind of a long setup, so I hope she's got plenty of time. She's down to 38 seconds. All right, she's getting, looks like she's settling in a little bit quicker this time. Good job there. Way to get set, Deanna. 265 pounds on the bar. She takes the weight. Down to her chest. Oh, completely lost the weight. Just a little too much. Didn't quite have control of it. Good effort. She can come back and get that at another time. Up next, we have Taryn Albright. No, Madison Meyer. Madison Meyer's up with woo-hoo. Madison's going 303 pounds on the bar. Madison Meyer, 303 pounds. She is your gold medalist in the Team 2 15 to 16 year age group. 303 pound bench press. Here we go, Madison. Down to the chest. Ooh, it wobbles a little bit. Oh, she lost control of it. Yeah, she's not questioning. She, I think she knows she lost control of it. And off she goes. Good way to attempt it. Just a little more control. I think she'd have a shot that way. All right, up next is Taryn Albright. 155 kilos, 342 pounds on the bar. She gets Interesting. If Taryn hits this lift, according to Gino, she'll be in the lead for the best overall lifter today in the equipped competition. This will put her really high on the list. 72 kilo weight class. 342 pounds on the bar. Down to her chest. Pops it off. Locks it out. Very Excellent. Technically perfect lift for Taryn Albright. Two to one, good lift. I'm not sure what the head referee saw, but that was an excellent lift for Taryn Albright. Up next is Carly Walker. 380 pounds on the bar for Carly Walker. She's your gold medalist in the female junior division. That's under 20, 18 to 23 years of age. Carly's going for 380 pounds on the bar. This is a glory lift. She's got her gold medal wrapped up. Brings it down to her chest. She's looking strong. Oh, my. Pops it off with authority. Locks it out. Get that left arm, left arm. Yeah. Oh, man, that was so close. Carly, fantastic attempt. Now, up next is your open champion, your female 84 kilo class open champion and Masters 1 champion, Rebecca Lair. Rebecca's having a great day so far. She got 165 our second. Now she's going for 182 and a half kilos, 402 pounds on the bar for Rebecca Lair from Texas. All right, here we come, Rebecca. She's getting settled under the bar. <laughs> Rebecca is also a veteran of the United States military, so thank you for your service, Rebecca. Here we go, Rebecca, 402 pounds on the bar. Brings it down to her chest. Gets the press command. I think she's got it. 402, Rebecca Lair. And it's three wide lines. Way to finish off the first session of lifting on the quip day. Great job, Rebecca. Well, folks, that wraps up our first day of lifting on the equipped division. The first session, session two is coming up shortly. And we have just finished with session one. We saw some great lifting from uh, some of the lifters. Rebecca Lair, of course, finishes up strong. Saw Jennifer Thompson do some great lifting. Tammy Lauer is fantastic. 
Morris Shuttleworth, her battle with Chelsea Houston was absolutely fantastic. We saw some of the other guys do great lifts as well. We thank you for paying attention and stay tuned here. What time does the next session start? I'll have to check it real quick. I think we start a couple hours. At one o'clock, one o'clock mountain time. Cent oh, we're on Central, we're still on Central, okay. That's what time I live on. At one o'clock Central time today, that'd be two o'clock Eastern. We'll be getting started with session two. And we're looking forward to bringing out the real big boys in that, that session. Stay tuned and we hope you enjoy the 2019 USA Powerlifting Bench Press Nationals presented by Leo Strength and 9 for 9 Media. How do we do?